Oh, hallelujah. In the book of Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 9, the Bible says the head of Ephraim is Samaria. The head of Samaria is Remaliah's son. And listen to the next lines. If you will not believe, surely you shall not be established. I want you to pay attention to that. It is true that everybody wants to get some level of establishment or the other in their lives. A new year or season makes this desire for establishment to even be stronger. It is instructive, therefore, to note that our test says the secret to being established is believing. Simply put, the test says, if you will not believe, surely you shall not be established. Let me repeat that. If you will not believe, surely you shall not be established. Please note that it doesn't matter what feed you are in. This statement applies to all feed. Some people, for example, go for interviews and don't get the job. Not because they are not qualified for the job, but just because they don't believe they will get the job. So they end up going off for the interview, but messing up the interview just because of fear. A football team, for example, that comes into a pitch without believing that they can win the game, will surely lose that game. A business owner who does not believe in the product that he or she sells cannot have an established business with that product. A citizen who does not believe in his nation cannot be established in that same nation. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people who want to be established, but they are out there spending their time on things they don't necessarily believe in. The result of this is a waste of lifetime, frustration, and sometimes even depression. If this year will work for you, then be sure to give your time and attention only to the things you believe in. Or where possible, start believing on those things you have no option but to spend your time in daily or weekly. This way, you'll be guaranteeing that your year is not wasted, but instead, it brings you establishment in many areas of your life. It is what you believe in that you will give your best to. And many a time, you will go far and beyond the requirement for that thing. So start asking yourself this simple question. Do I really believe in the things that I do? Don't be quick to answer yes. Because you see, the simple thing to do is to just say, oh yes, I believe. Let your answer be weighed. Weighed how? For example, by how much extra time, how much extra energy, resources, and effort you put into those things. If you surely give it the extra, then you truly believe in it. It is my prayer that this year you will believe so that you will be established. And your believing will not just be words, but it will be giving it the extra time required. Well, before I leave you today, I want to challenge you to right now, just as you're watching, I'd like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's called FMC TV. Subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can always be alerted when we have something new up. And follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram page is fmc.church. Our Twitter page is fmc underscore church. And of course, like us on Facebook, is FMC online. Or maybe you want to follow me personally. All my uh, social media pages are pastor, at Pastor Moses GCF. So with that, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, our YouTube channel. The Lord bless you. And before I leave you today, I want to say, let your believing be real so that your establishment will come for this year. In Jesus' name, amen.